Okay, um, all the slate pieces are off, all three of them, and uh, what I did was I, you know, lifted them to the side and and uh, and then lifted them up. It reminded me that uh, I got my first hernia by uh, lifting these by myself. I got my second hernia, no, not tonight, but uh, another way. So um, don't, I, I would suggest having two people. They're, they're pretty heavy and pretty hard to do on your own. Okay, so um, if you're starting and you're putting the whole thing together, this is an important piece that you get uh, your frame in place uh, looking like this. Now, these legs. Um, these legs, like I said, were, were custom. The original legs went into, you can see the two screws on the side, they, um, these kind of self-tapping uh, screws there, they, um, so the, the whole thing mounted into that, it was a particle board, and uh, I replaced those with wooden uh, logs that uh, I made to uh, be the legs, and then, uh, I, then I did these. Now, uh, these screw in from the top, you can see it's just a long uh, bolt into the leg. There's um, probably not a lot of backward and forward stability, but at the same time, uh, they're uh, screwed in there pretty tight uh, up against it, and they're nice and flat. So uh, there's plenty of stability with this table. Now again, you'll notice everything is marked. LE1 goes to LE1. LE1 uh, goes to, uh, or L1 goes to L1, sorry. Uh, R1 goes to R1. RE1 goes to RE1. RE2 goes to RE2. RE2 to RE2, right on down the line. So I know exactly where to put each and every one of my pieces when I'm putting them uh, back on. Again, you're putting the table together, that's what you're gonna wanna do. Line all those up, screw them into place. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, super simple, I'm just gonna take each of these bolts that you see here out, including the ones on my leg, and I'm gonna take this uh, particular structure out. Now, one more piece that you notice down here at the end. Um, this was here because originally, um, I think this table could have been converted. You could have had a uh, uh, a run that it would take all the balls uh, down to the end, and then you could pull them uh, out of the end of the table. I've left that. I don't think you really need this piece. And if you notice, I think it's even uh, mislabeled. Uh, oh yeah, it is, because this says RE, right end, but yet I've got it on the left end. So um, this piece, Let's see. Looks like yeah, it's just it's just some screws uh, down at the bottom. It it might be a little um, helpful from a structural standpoint, but I don't think it actually is going to serve any purpose. So if you don't put that uh, piece back in place, I don't think it's uh, of any consequence at all. So I'm going to take all those bolts out, and you'll see that uh, I'm ready to start. Tear apart uh, the final stages of the table. And uh, by the way, the felt, uh, you notice I just folded it softly, nicely. Uh, it's laying here. And I'm not going to fold it any more than that. I don't want there to be any creases. I'd recommend uh, ironing it if you see a crease or anything when you go to put it back uh, together. So there are my sticks that I'll take off the wall. Uh, that's an easy job. There's uh, my ends there in the middle. I've got um, my uh, runners or bumpers and my uh, slate is sitting over here. So you can see all the pieces already. Um, this is your base.